Intelligence logins galore in the Pope has a floor of our shipwrecks and spacecraft to space in. When meteor holes come between men and their goals by demolishing ships at their racing. Painting pictures with words like none you've ever heard. Sci-fi writers make frightening predictions. But the terrors they tell cannot equal the hell Faced by three men in fact and not fiction To April 11th, 1970 now We must let our narrative carry us Three men in a CSM named Odyssey Below them the Lem named Aquarius With a furious roar Saturn leap for the sky With Jack Swigger, Fred Hayes and Jim Lovell for a plan rendezvous that would never come true To the gray lunar gravel and rubble So they set up housekeeping in orbit round her And translunar insertion was kindled But the public just yawned for their landing was third And behind them all terra slow dwindled As a as Apollo 13 traveled on down the track, laid down by the three laws of Newton. At 56 hours into lunar bound host, Lovell said, Houston, we have a problem. Now they may have been struck by a meteorite. Maybe something had just overloaded. But their panels went red with their malfunction lights, and in Odyssey something exploded. That blast block that ruptured their fuel cell lines, their electrical energy faltered. With no hope at all of a rescue in time, the team's mission profile had altered. To physics and God, they commended their lives, for no power on Earth now could save them. And although NASA let the men talk to their wives, of goodbyes there was never a mention. Three men in a CSM bound for the moon, reached 206,000 miles. Did they have enough air to get all the way there? Did they trust what they read on their dials? Or when they reached Luna, could they change course for home? Would she trap them or lose them at random? Untested advice and contingency plans were the only things NASA could hand them. As Apollo 13 crossed the limb of the moon, and death came from the receivers. They knew the next signal would speak of their doom, or would answer the faith of believers. Apollo 13, this is Houston D. Reed, dear God, let them answer us quickly. The world held its breath and admission control, every screen lit a face pale and sickly. Apollo 13, this is Houston D. Reed, that empty sound stretched on. Oh, yes. Houston and the 13 were coming home, said a voice, and the world found relief in his tears. At T plus 133 hours, they jettisoned Odyssey's wreckage. That module was shattered and blasted apart, a symbol of death in the space age. Aquarius served as their lifeboat to shore Till they knew they were no longer near At T plus 138 hours With a deep prayer of thank you they freed her And Roger and Gus must have smiled in those days Knowing theirs was the path not to follow for the Lord was with Swigert and Lovell and Hayes Riding home on the 13th Apollo At T plus 143.54 Apollo 13 hit the waters 
three men return home, shaken up but alive, to their wives and their sons and their daughters. There's legends galore in the pulp sci-fi lore about shipwrecks and spacecraft and space age. But all of them now just cause men to reflect on three days when the world's hearts went racing. Painting pictures of words too few people have heard. Sci-fi writers could rate and make their predictions. But always recall that in spite of them all, the truth must be greater than fiction. But always recall that in spite of them all, the truth must be greater than fiction.